So you want to find the best camera for your YouTube videos, but you feel lost. You don't know which one to choose. Some cameras are too expensive, some too cheap. And you're scared because you're not sure is it worth it or not. Will I use all these functions? In other words, you need the best solution for your type of content, the camera that is worth its money. So today I will share with you a list of 10 cameras that are best for YouTubers, vloggers, and those of you who are just starting out. I don't want you to waste your money and time. Let's go. Hi, my name is Arthur and welcome to the Movavi vlog. The first camera in today's list has a huge potential to become a perfect camera in your content making kit. It's the Sony ZV-1. It's known as one of the best cameras in 2021 for YouTubers and vloggers. But if you're not a YouTuber or vlogger, I would not buy this camera. If you're planning to shoot short films, music videos and commercials, this is the wrong camera for this type of content. At first glance, the specs of this camera look amazing. The camera has a 20 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens with an aperture range from f1.8 to f2.8. This is really impressive. The lens will allow you to shoot in low light with minimal noise. But what's also good about this camera? Some features are made specifically for YouTubers and vloggers. There is a built-in flip screen, which is crucial when you're filming yourself. The autofocus is really fast, Sony is well known for their fantastic autofocus systems. There is an external mic input and you can place a mic on top of the camera, thanks to the hot shoe mount. Also, there is a giant record button on top of the camera. Trust me, it's really handy. Besides, the camera has an external device that plays a role of a tripod, a handle, a remote that you can use to start or end recording. You can snap a photo, zoom in or zoom out, and you can use the C1 button for quick control of most used functions like focus, for example. Now, let's move to the camera settings. The camera shoots in full HD up to 120 frames per second and 4K with up to 30 frames per second. If you love shooting in slow-mo, you will probably like the super slow-mo mode. It allows you to shoot in 240 FPS, 480 FPS and 960 FPS. Yes, you heard it, 960. However, every time you boost your FPS, you sacrifice image quality to the point where it gets really unusable. Well, at least for professional use, but you can shoot something fun with this mode for your social media. Why not? So it's an excellent camera for YouTubers and vloggers, but I would not use it for more professional goals. The Sony ZV-1 sits at around 750 US dollars. The next camera is suitable for those who make videos like this one, talking head videos, and you add some B-roll footage in post. This type of videos is the most common on YouTube. Many YouTubers create this type of content. So here is the Canon M50, Mark I and Mark II. This camera has a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, which will give gorgeous colors and very fast autofocus. Even without color correction, the colors look amazing, especially skin tones. With this camera, you will look more attractive than in real life. In most cases, you will not use the manual focus ring. That is how good the autofocus system is. Especially when you're filming yourself, autofocus gets really handy because the camera has the eye and face detection tool. The camera has a flip screen and the ability to focus by touching the screen. There is an external mic input which is crucial for talking head videos. The camera shoots in full HD up to 60 frames per second. You can boost it up to 120 frames per second, but only in 720p. And yes, you can shoot a 4K video, but I'm not impressed by the quality. Why, would you ask? Well, because when you shoot a 4K in this camera, there's a noticeable image crop. You kind of get the 4K mode, but I would not use it for my videos. Mark II is almost the same as Mark I, but the faster autofocus and HDMI outport. So you can use it as a webcam or for your streams. But if you don't do this, why spend an extra cash? The battery will last you two to three hours, which is not much. If you're making talking head videos, just buy the adapter, plug it into your socket and never worry about your battery life. And the cost of this camera is 700 US dollars. However, some YouTubers don't like to be tied to only one place. They always change locations. And if you're this YouTuber, then the next camera might suit your needs. The Canon G7X Mark III. This camera can literally fit your pocket. 
you can quickly grab it, shoot something and place it back in your pocket. Let's call it the next level smartphone camera, like a proper compact content making device. Here are the main pros, the compact design, some useful features for shooting videos and amazing built-in lens. 24 to 100 millimeters lens with aperture from f1.8 to f2.8, which means more shallow depth of field and less noise in low light scenes. The lens can shoot in macro mode, so if you're a big fan of macro shots, here you go. The camera shoots in full HD up to 120 frames per second, but what's more impressive, 4K up to 30 frames per second. The downside is that the camera has a small sensor. It's about a quarter size mirrorless or DSLR camera sensor. So you will get less blur in backgrounds, but it's worth it if the camera size is your main priority. And one extra downside, if you want to attach your mic on top of the camera, it will block the screen. You should buy a special mount on Amazon to attach the mic from the side. And the battery will last you not more than two or three hours, but it's a common thing in a point and shoot cameras. So the Canon G7X Mark III is an excellent camera for those who always change locations and don't want to shoot videos on a smartphone. The price of this camera sits at around 750 US dollars. And guys, if you're getting value out of this video, hit the like button gently. That way I will understand that you want to see more content like this one. Next up is the camera for content creators that want to have a strong battery life, and this is the Sony Alpha A6600. This is one of the best mirrorless cameras from Sony, which has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor and built-in stabilizer which allows you to create smoother shots in motion. It handles really well with harsh weather conditions regarding its design, which feels very solid and you feel confident while holding this camera. The camera has a flip screen, which is actually one reason why this camera is so helpful for shooting vlogs. It's very compact to travel with and this is the Sony camera after all, so the autofocus system is fantastic in this camera, both in photo and video mode. There is the face and eye tracking tool, which comes in handy while filming yourself. The camera shoots 4K video up to 30 frames per second and overall quality is great. Colors are very well balanced. The benefits that you get from this camera, great battery life, the built-in stabilizer and the fast autofocus system. This camera sits somewhere between the beginner's camera and the professional camera. So if you have been using an entry-level camera and you're thinking of updating it, the Sony a6600 might be a great option for you. The camera costs around 1400 US dollars. But let's say you're not chasing the best possible quality of your video. Your main priority is a compact size and silky smooth shots. In that case, take a look at the DJI Osmo Pocket 2. Over a year I have been using the first version of this camera and I would say this is a magical camera. The one who came up with the idea to mount the drone's camera to a stick is genius. This camera can serve you as a secondary camera for shots where you can't use your main camera, but actually the DJI Osmo might serve as the main camera for some of you. It has an excellent image quality and you will get silky smooth shots thanks to the gimbal on this device. It weighs only 117 grams and will easily fit in your pocket. It has the CMOS 64 megapixel sensor, but you should keep in mind that the lens is a big downside in this camera. It is a fixed lens with an f1.8 aperture. The camera shoots video in 4K up to 60 frames per second in normal mode and up to 240 and 480 frames per second in slow mo mode, but only in full HD. Autofocus can track objects and faces easily. If you are sure you want to buy this camera, I recommend checking out the Creator Combo Kit. It includes the handle, the lens that you can mount on the camera and increase the view angle from 93 degrees to 104 degrees. And there is also the wireless microphone with the transmitter. Attach it to your jacket and get clean audio. All that makes the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 a great solution for those who don't chase the best possible quality but want to get mobility and smooth shots. The standard kit sits at around 350 and the Creator Combo Kit it sits at about 500 US dollars. There are YouTubers that desire to try themselves out not only in vlogs but in every type of content and the next camera will give you the creative possibilities you need, the Canon 90D. This is the camera not only for one kind of content, this is the camera that will allow you to try yourself out in any genre. This is a very powerful tool that will serve you for a very long time. You will get a pleasing and realistic colors and high-speed autofocus. The camera has a 32 megapixel sensor and it will not only give you more resolution in the photo mode, but it can also shoot 4K videos with no crop 
at all. And this is not a consumer level 4K video. This is a professional level 4K video that you can shoot even a commercial with. The camera shoots in full HD up to 120 frames per second without any sacrifices. So consider this is a professional camera. Therefore, the battery will last you from four to five hours of shooting. The downside of this camera, in my opinion, is its body. It is bulky and in some scenarios, it is not easy to hold. The Canon 90D body costs around 1200 US dollars. If the price increase is not something you're afraid of, then keep an eye on the Panasonic Lumix S5. This is one of the best vlogging cameras in 2021. The first thing you notice when you see this camera is its body. It feels really solid. Thanks to the famous Panasonic design, you can easily access settings like ISO, white balance, shutter speed, aperture, and so on. The camera has a 24.2 megapixel full frame sensor, you can not only record 4K videos with up to 60 frames per second, but also they have given us very flexible settings in the photo mode. For example, the dual native ISO technology allows you to shoot in low light with a small amount of noise. There is a built-in stabilizer, which in combination with an optical stabilizer will give you a very smooth shot. They have finally improved autofocus in this camera. It is still far from perfect, but it's way better. Lumix S5 is one of the best cameras not only for vlogs, but also for for more professional use cases. It costs $1,700, which is not cheap, but if you can afford it, definitely consider choosing this camera. If you're shooting a lot of action style content, then you should think about purchasing an action camera. You might use it as a second angle for some dynamic B-roll or as your main camera. Probably the best option today is the GoPro Hero 9. They've added a small screen close to the lens for you to properly frame your composition. There is a 23.6 megapixel sensor and you can shoot videos with up to 5K resolution at 30 frames per second. And you can change the view angle, 16 mm super view, wide from 16 to 34 mm, and linear from 19 to 39 mm. This is definitely the best GoPro camera. They've improved a lot comparing to the previous model. GoPro Hero 9 definitely worth your attention. Today Hero 9 costs $400. Next up is the best-selling DSLR camera in the world, the Canon T7 and its older brother, the Canon T8i. The Canon T7 is the perfect camera for those who are looking for a simple design and all the main features. The camera is great for both photo and video. Also, it is the most affordable camera on the market. Today it costs around 450 US dollars with the lens. It has a 24 megapixel sensor and it is capable of taking 5 photos per second with precise autofocus. The most significant upside of the Canon cameras is that you get realistic colors even in the low budget models like Canon T7. Even without color correction, the image looks beautiful. This is the camera that you can get out of the box and instantly start shooting. However, the reason why this camera is so cheap is limitations. There is no flip screen, no audio input, no touch screen and out of focus, I would not use this out of focus. The camera is great for beginners. If you've never held this kind of camera in your hands, this is the way to go, but I would not use it for more professional use cases. That is why if you can afford it, I suggest taking a look at the older brother, the Rebel T8i. The camera shoots video way better, full HD up to 60 frames per second with a decent autofocus system for its price. It can even track faces and eyes. Also, it has a flip screen and audio input, which is essential for YouTubers. It can also shoot video in 4K, but with a crop. I personally don't like how it looks. The Canon T7 and the Canon T8i are great options for aspiring content creators. Also check out this video if you want to learn more about the content creation process and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.